Hi everyone from Poly Radio. I am Luciano and I'm here with Rofol. Yes, buongiorno. Buongiorno a te. Grazie. How are you? Uh, tutto bene, tutto bene, sì, tutto perfetto. Uh, I can speak then. It's good. <laughs> Nothing more with <laughs> Italian. Yeah, it's quite but, good. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really happy that we are, uh, our tests are negative because we spent the last five days at the hotel room. It's a little bit unpleasure um, if you of course see the uh, the rest team can uh, practice and then go out uh, for uh, Turkish carpet but Turkish carpet but we will stay at the hotel but uh, the safety uh, I think this uh, priority here and now we are so so excited and happy to go with the ride on the stage we are very excited to, to see you performing live on stage As a matter of fact, we received the emails um, telling about the uh, COVID, etc. So we were, we were very um, concerned about you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I had a lot of great uh, uh, support from uh, another artist and another team and the delegations and of course people around the world uh, that they support us. They know that we are a little bit uh, suffer about that, that we are staying at the hotel. but. We are healthy and that's the most important. Yeah, of course. The safety is the most yes. important thing. It's your first time here in Holland? In yes, Rotterdam. this is my first time in Rotterdam. And uh, uh, I didn't uh, have a time, I don't have a time uh, to uh, watch the city a little uh -huh. bit because we, uh, we had a plan for some excursions. But, you know, they suggest us to uh, yeah. cancel that. And uh, so, but you know, uh, now it's the main point here, be a, a part of this big community and to sing. Uh, I watched uh, yesterday uh, first semi-final, it was really nice, yeah. uh, uh, a lot of emotions. So today will be probably better with those uh, rehearsals and tomorrow big day and we are ready to go. We are ready to, we can't wait. Your song is called The Ride. Yeah. I'm literally dancing. As I told you before, looking at the video, it's quite amazing. Even uh, even under the shower, even in the shower, I'm dancing, <laughs> I'm living. <laughs> Can you tell us about this? Yeah, the song is, uh, actually I want uh, I, I, I want to create a song uh, with the energy and uh, with the refrain that you can repeat that and you can ride with the car or you can eat the breakfast and you can sing that and you feel okay. But the story is a little bit about the passion, about uh, having good uh, uh, path of your, of your life because uh, sometimes you can stumble, you can drop something in your life but you never touch the ground if you believe in uh, your dreams and if you want to go farther for the gold medal for uh, to you know, to, to achieve whatever you want. Uh, and that's about the ride of your life, which way you choose, how you, you do that. Uh, so, oh, we got that. <laughs> so this is, this is really um, uh, something uh, uh, energetic and you can dance with the song, to the song, through the song. And I think uh, I like that. The, this is like, Uh, uh, the, the meaning is really important, but the song is really uh, nice to, to, to listen. How was it born? I mean, was there, a, was there an event which inspired you in writing this song? Uh, yeah, there was uh, some kind of uh, ideas for my album this year and uh, released that. I want to release that in autumn. But uh, I want I want to uh, to record song with the retro vibes, with the 80s, with the synthesizers, yeah. because I'm from 80s. Because I uh, have uh, uh, my 10th year anniversary this year, and of course, so I'm 40 this year, like in two weeks. So <laughs> wow. everything was like uh, you know during my life, 80s, yes. 90s, and and so on. So. I want to create the song of my 10th career, uh, 10th year of my career, yeah. with the vibes from 80s also and another song. So that was the idea. And when the broadcaster told me to send a proposition for Eurovision, I sent that song and they say, yeah, we love that. And we want to release that because it's energetic and we want to have a great show with the dancers, with the movements, with the lasers, with the visualization. So that's why we record that in Museum of Neons in yeah. Poland to have a Polish accent because the song is in English. 
So uh, you can see in a video and on the stage probably uh, uh, visualization and the neons from uh, Warsaw, uh, but they were very famous in the 80s. So they are classic and they are in the retro style. I was a kid and I remember that, those neons, so I have now a little bit of history. Uh, on the stage of, of Poland. So everything is connected, uh, it's modern. We try to open uh, right now for the another countries because we cooperate with Swedish producers with that. So this is really uh, important for us to meet you guys, to meet all the people, to open for all the community. And I think it's a time right now to say that we are together because of the pa pandemic situation that we have a problem with the COVID. So that's it. Even due to the pandemic, to this situation, and even the to your 10th uh, year career. Uh, have you got any plans for the future? I think it all depends about the Eurovision, uh, about this, what happened on the stage, because you always ha have a plan A and plan B, what's going on. If you have a success, you need to go farther. But one, one, uh, one thing I can tell you that I'm still working in the music right now, on my new album. And uh, I, I'm now I'm, uh, you know, uh, thinking about record that in English and Polish, so two version, because you never know. And uh, this, is, this is my second song in English, just, I, I, I just uh, start to sing it. And, um, but uh, in the future, I, I think I need to release album this year, uh, for sure. So maybe I will uh, record that in Sweden or in Poland, you know, like together. Um, that's that's the idea of that, but later later on I, I don't have a really uh, uh, idea because it all depends about today and tomorrow. What of we course. have, what the result will be, how it goes. If you have a success under Eurovision, you need to go farther. If you don't have a success here, you need to have plan B to have another success in, in next year. So that's that's the idea. You never know, and but you need to be prepared as a sportsman. You know. <laughs> Last question. Yeah. What has inspired you to be a singer and making music? A life. Life inspires you. You need to be. Uh, you need to uh, take uh, a songs, an idea of the songs from life. Of course, you need to look forward. What is going on on the world right now? What, what is, uh, which music is popular? What you like? Uh, what are the trends? How, what are the trends? What are the trends uh, uh, in music, in modern music, and classic music? What, what is your style? So inspiration is the life. You're um, you're uh, behaving with the people, connect connections with the relationship, and all the stuff. So I think if you are uh, truly you, uh, the people believe uh, in you also. So in they believe in your music. Thank you very much for Thank having you. me. Thank you. So see you on the stage, of Thank course. You. It was thank a pleasure you. and uh, good luck to Italy. And thank you, thank you very much. The song is great, the, the band is really crazy, I love that. Yours too, <laughs> I mean, I literally dancing. Thank, thank you, you so much thank and you very good much. luck. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, thank you very much. You got everything? Yes. So we need to go. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.